Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist channel. I'm Ranita. Happy Thriving Thursday. It is Thursday. It is the 13th. And welcome to today's channel. This is a really uh, wonderful reading that's coming through. They're always wonderful with the Divine Source, but there's a lot of um, tips and tricks in this and one of my favorite areas. So let's get it in. This may or may not resonate with you, but if you journal every day, Come to the channel, you'll see how it aligns itself in your life, and you can go on and share it with others if you enjoy the videos here, and please like the videos for the algorithm. Our card for the day is the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Clarifier is the Emperor card in reverse, all right? Now, with this Seven of Cups here, okay, with the Divine and Source of Spirit guys is saying that what really represents success is consistency to be um to go be a go getter and do what be consistent be con what consistent it's very important okay and to do and no matter what things look like see think feel <laughs> any of that be driven and will be in you and that is your wealth Consistency is your wealth being, and that's your driven naturalness. You have to be consistent, okay, for success, all right? But with the Emperor card as well in reverse, he's also confirming this, that you can orchestrate the path for your life for being consistent because it is clear to go. So be a go-getter, be consistent no matter what, even when it looked like, feel like, tastes like, it may not even look like things is coming in order for you, but they are. Sometimes things give you a little snippet. You may get a little screenshot in your life of something. That doesn't mean for you to get off course. It means be consistent and continue to be a go-getter because that is success. That truly is your wealth about being consistent. So one of my favorite things about being consistent and applying a couple of hacks on consistency. And this is a very important area of my life that I privy myself to is about being consistent. I tell people that all the time, if you want change in your life, because I applied in my own life, is being consistent and diligent. One of the first affirmations that I write on my um, my want, daily want script, every day that I write for myself, it's called my um, want script. I always start off with the first one saying, I intend on this day to be consistent, productive, and stress-free. All right? So in saying that, one of the areas to be consistent, being consistency is being productive. Productivity is being consistent. Starting off your morning um, with a morning routine, getting up, setting your schedule, setting a schedule with yourself first before you set your schedule to your email, your social media, texting everybody else, maybe your loved one that's laying next to you or whomever, your children. You should be consistent with who you first. You always put yourself first. Always go to the divine and source of spirit guys first in your life to orchestrate it. You can learn that by joining our today a sacred Patreon account on 2020. 2020 to learn how to apply those method, methods in your life. Join our Patreon account. So you should develop a morning routine. It, it super optimizes you. Another thing is writing down. Writing it down to focus. One of the things I like to call focus is follow one course until success. Focus means to me follow one course until success. Okay? Very important writing it down, building a system around you, a routine, very important. Consistent thinking, being consistent with your behavior to strive in your thought process to bring what it is that you want in your life. You know, stand like a rock no matter what, no matter what. Even in difficult times, consistent thinking on the matter, all right? Don't let self-doubt creep into until after you've accomplished your goals. Don't get into self-doubt. That's the ultimate consistency destroyer. An image of self-doubt is like a monster. So you have to be consistent. 
doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. And I always said this to myself, um, doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. I had that um, stuck to my car when I was um, in college, undergrad. And when I was in undergrad, I had taped that to my car my dashboard. And so when I would go to school, go to college every day, go to class, and then I was working, I was working at GM putting on doors at the GM factory in Michigan. And every day when I would go after I would leave Wayne State and then I would go to work, I would always look at that and say, doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. So I need to don't doubt. Don't kill your dreams. Even when things don't look the way it is, doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. Um, here's another one that I always like to remind myself of, and, and the divine wanted me to share this with you. Do it even if you don't feel like it. <laughs> Do it even if you don't feel like it. Okay? I always believe that. Do things even when you don't feel like it. It's a mentality. Okay? You got to do it. Okay? Um, I love that. I, I've always been like that. Wake up determined. Go to bed satisfied. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson had with that. And he's one of my favorites. And I was like, that's a good one. Um, identify you are what you do daily. We aren't what we do from time to time. We are what we do day in and day out. If you don't feel like doing your something, remind yourself, I can do it. We are what we repeatedly do, Aristotle said. Number seven is improve your consistency to consistently improve. Consistency is built on hope and consistency. Um, in other words, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. You can't do that, but you can improve consistency to consistency, consistently improve. I always live by that. I remember hearing Les Brown, a motivational speaker, say that, and I got a chance to meet him at one of his, um, motivational meetings, and I, and it always stuck with me with saying that because when you begin going through trials which is challenges in life you've got to hold on to something okay tie a knot to keep on hanging trusting and believing that you can do it a dj named dj um uh it's a dj in detroit i can't even think of his name right now um dj starts with an m right now i can't even think of his name but he will always say tie a knot keep hanging keep believing um, it starts with M. Can't think his name. Mojo. His name was Mojo. Something like that. Um, but he always had that saying at the end of his show. So always be a consistent. Consistency is your wealth. You know, the turtle won the race, not the rabbit. Okay. It's not about the speed or the sprint. It's the marathon. And those that know me here, if you don't know, I am a full marathon, 26.2, whoop, whoop, <laughs> full marathon runner. And so I applied that same consistency to my training that I did when I ran my first full marathon. And you can do that too because life is all about a marathon. And so on this Thursday the 13th, and happy birthday to my husband. <laughs> His birthday is today and he is a Leo. Um, and I'm very glad that he is in my life and being able to celebrate one of his wonderful solar returns with us as his family. Um, you, it's a lot of feelings around this connecting with Mars and Pluto. Okay, so Mars is um, in Aries, so it's kind of aggressive and you can be selfish making it square up with Pluto and Capricorn as well. So it may show up as a big power struggle between forces, all right? But there's a lot of opportunities today. Uh, you'll need to do some extra pushing to, to do something you have been holding off doing than now, and it may be a better time right now. Mars also deals with courage and willingness to take risk. So take risk. 
uh, on the national global view, we can see this everywhere. All right. Also, the other day on Monday, we had a big sea of being courageous, about being taking courage. The earlier part of the week, we dealt with money matters and how important this is with the shifting of the world views and your own independent view of, hey, you can't operate like yesteryears. We are moving into a new world order. You got to operate in this new world order. The old way will not be effective. And saying that today, how will you be consistent on this thriving Thursday? How will you do that? Comment down below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to videos here on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, and Facebook. Also, you can join our Patreon accounts. Today is sacred. That will build your sacred space, your meditation time, your prayer time. As well, we offer intuitive readings that will change your life, spell work that will change your life, many of uh, visuals that we work with the lunar cycles, as well as some um, product and services on our website, HTTP as double colon slash slash encrypted spiritualist seven dot com all right so i love you very much for coming in here about the big c of consistency and what the word is today through the divine the source and spirit guys i hope that it resonates with you if it doesn't it will resonate with someone else so share with them i will see you next time have a wonderful thriving thursday bye-bye